Head lice, also known as pediculosis capitis, is uh, an, a parasite infestation and it, is manif it manifests itself or the symptoms are itching, itching of the scalp and with some occasional excoriation of the skin. Um, there is presence of live lice or nits which are the eggs on the base of the hair close to the scalp and they can be readily seen behind, mainly behind the ears and the base of the neck and sometimes in the eyebrows as well. Uh, the lice deposit their eggs on the hair shaft close to the scalp um, and these types of infestations are most frequently seen in uh, school-aged children who have close head-to-head -head contact or in uh, daycares. It is not a sign of poor hygiene, nor are uh, children with long hair more prone to... Um, the, not, it, it's not influenced by the length of hair. The transmission occurs mainly through direct contact, so hair, uh, lice do not jump. Um, we, uh, lice transmission occurs from head-to-head -head, head contact uh, and less commonly from shared personal objects such as combs, brushes, uh, hats. So what parents can do to prevent transmission of lice? Uh, first of all, it's important to know that uh, everyone can uh, be infested by lice. It is not a sign of poor hygiene. Um, and as I have said, it's most frequently seen in school-aged children as well as children who, um, who go to daycare. Um, so what parents can do to, to, is to teach their children to avoid sharing combs, brushes, personal objects such as uh, hats as well. How do we know if our child has lice? Uh, other than the fact that we will identify them be behind the ears and the base of the neck, uh, we will see live lice that are moving close to the scalp as well as nits that, have, um, that are s stuck to the shaft of the hair. To treat lice there are, uh, uh, there's a series of products available over the counter in pharmacies um, and so we recommend that you consult the pharmacist to see what is the best product for your child and it is important to follow the instructions carefully. A retreatment will be necessary after uh, 7 to 10 days after the initial treatment. As well, it's important once we have one family member who has lice infestation, it's important to, to examine all the family members and to treat those who are infested. Also, once the initial treatment is given, the child can go back to school or daycare. If the, inf the infestation continues beyond two treat the completion of two treatments, we recommend that you consult your physician.